In this tutorial, we'll use the artificial intelligence in Canva to create animations. This AI won't only help you create the visual part of your presentation deck, it will also help you write all the content so you don't have to start with an empty canvas. The AI features in Canva will also help you improve titles and create unique images that are not available in the Canva library. And I will show you all of it in this video. This is the presentation that we will create today as you can see it has animations it looks very aesthetic I believe and also Canva helped me write all the content and some of the images were generated by the AI so if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer let's go to canva.com and we're going to create a new presentation document to do this you can use the button on top of the screen that says create a design from here we are going to select the option that says presentation 16 by 9 we're going to use magic design to create a presentation in seconds this is the ai feature that i talked about at the beginning of this tutorial and this feature is available only in this format at the moment so if you were to select this format the 4x3 you won't be able to see this feature at the moment so let's go for this one canva opens the editor and we can access magic design in two different ways you will see it on the left hand side we see a banner that says magic design describe the presentation you want and we'll write and design a draft for you instantly so we can either click in here but if at some point this banner disappears you can access magic design with this button I'm gonna click on the Canva assistant button this time and from here we'll see magic design if you don't see magic design under recommended actions you can type in here magic design and it will appear in here click on it this window will appear and you can use five or more words to describe your presentation topic if you are testing this feature for the first time you don't really need to create a presentation but you just want to try it out you can click on this button to try an example so i'm gonna click to see what canva provides it says a pitch deck for my yoga homestay startup you can try some other ideas a styling proposal from an interior decor and so on i'm gonna write my own so i'm gonna type a presentation with five reasons why to get a chihuahua I'm gonna show this presentation at the end of the tutorial to see if I convinced Ronnie to get a chihuahua. After you have your prompt ready, you would like to confirm this prompt by pressing enter. But before we continue, I would like to mention some of the limitations of magic design for presentations. Canva has an article with more information. You can visit it if you are interested in learning more. I'm just gonna read a couple of them that I found very important so it says that magic design only uses data and information up to mid 2021 this means that some of the generated designs might contain outdated information it only takes instructions from the text you enter into the prompt box the more context and instruction you give the better the result it might generate information and design that is inaccurate or unique this is important it generates up to 10 slides to get you started and as i mentioned it is only available in presentations 16 by 9 format for now canva for education administrators and teachers can use magic design for presentations it is not available to students okay so now that we know this let's go back to canva and create our presentation we are here we have our prompt ready and i'm gonna hit enter Pay attention because this is just gonna take a couple of seconds. I have the presentation ready. I have different styles to choose from eight different styles and canva created all the content for me you can see that we have one two three four five six seven pages and canva wrote 
all the content for me. Canva also select the images and is really on point because we are talking about chihuahuas and we only see chihuahua photos. Let me see some other designs that we have in here. Let me go over some of the designs just for you to have an idea of what to expect. I believe one of the limitations of this feature is clear in here and it is that we won't always get unique designs or relevant designs. What really matters is that Canva is giving us a fantastic structure to start a presentation with. I'm gonna go for the first template style and then I'm gonna select create my presentation. Now I'm gonna show you how to use Canva's AI to improve the titles on your presentations. And I'm also going to show you how to use the app text to image so you can create unique images using also AI. This is coming, so keep watching. The feature that we're gonna use to improve the titles on our presentations is called Magic Write and this one is available for Canva Pro users. Let's say that I want to improve the text that we see on the cover of our presentation deck. I'm gonna select this text box and then I see that we have a group here. I would like to ungroup these elements first and then I will select the text box that I want to edit or improve. Then I will go to the Canva Assistant and from here we'll see this option called Edit with Magic Write. All of these features have the crown and that's why I mentioned that this one is a Canva Pro feature. If we were to use Magic Design, let me show you Magic design, we won't see the crown. That means that Magic Design it is available to all Canva users. Let me go back to the main menu and this time we are going to use Edit with Magic Write. This window will appear and we have the text from the text box inside the Magic Write. I'm gonna add a prompt to improve this title so I'm gonna ask Magic Write to make this title more catchy and then press return. Okay, this is what Canva provided. Chihuahua's the ultimate companion for your lifestyle. Here's why. This one is catchy. I am missing the five reasons why, but I believe this is catchy enough. So let me remove these quote marks. Now let me show you quickly how to improve the aesthetic of this presentation and at the end I will show you how to use the text to image AI inside Canva. This is the presentation that we have at the moment. It is not bad but I believe we can do better. So I'm gonna go back to the cover, you will open design and then go to layouts. This is one way and then we'll talk about templates. We will have suggested layouts. This is also an AI feature inside Canva. And as you can see, it is providing us different layouts that we can use on this slide. So if you like any of these designs or these layouts, you can click and Canva will automatically change the design for you. Let me see another one. Let's see, for example, this one not really really happy about these options i'm gonna stay with this one right here you can do the same process for the following pages when you change the page canva will show you different suggested layouts depending on the elements that you have on the slide so you can see the different options that canva recommends and then apply them if you want on your design another option to improve the aesthetic on your presentation is of course using templates so i'm gonna go to templates you can scroll down and see if there is a template that you like or you can also search for presentations so i'm gonna type dog pet and see what do we have in here i like this template right here so let me see what do we have yes i really like this style so let me go back to page number one I'm gonna add this page to my design. Now we just simply need to copy paste the information that we have on our 
old slide and paste it into the new slide. So let me copy this word or this keyword, paste it here. You can change the size, the font, and you have more settings in here in case that you want to adjust anything related to the text. So let me see maybe a smaller version of this and then the rest of the copy in this text box. Let me increase this text box a little bit more, delete this one right here, and then we can just adjust the placement of the elements. I like this photo right here, so I'm gonna drag it to my new slide and put it inside this frame. Now, I can delete this page right here and continue the same process with the following pages. So I'm gonna add page number two and then take some of the elements into this new slide. Something important in here now that we are doing this process of copy pasting is to double check the information, the copy that Canva created or this AI created for us. Sometimes the information won't be accurate and it may have an angle that you don't really like. So you can take the text, go to the Canva assistant and rewrite. You can summarize the text, expand or use the edit with magic write feature. I'm just going to copy and paste some of this information for the sake of this tutorial and I will see you in a second. I have my presentation ready. It took me just a couple of minutes to copy and paste the information into this new template. Now, some of the images that I had in the presentation that Canva created for me, I didn't quite like. So I'm going to create some unique photos or images with the text to image inside Canva. And also we can add videos to these presentations. So let me show you how to add videos. I'm gonna take this video and delete it. We have an empty frame and now we can go to elements. From here, scroll down to videos, click see all, and then you can type whatever you want to find in here. So let's say Chihuahua. And we have a lot of cute videos in here that you can add on your presentation. So let's add this one right here. You can adjust the position if you want. You can also flip the video, which it is what I'm going to do for this presentation. So my chihuahua is looking at the direction of the text. And now I want to create an image for this page and this one. So to create the image, we're gonna go to apps. And from here, you can either select text to image, but if you don't see this banner, you can type on this search bar, text to image. Okay, now select this option right here. And now you can create a unique image by just prompting Canva. So we're gonna describe the image that we want to create in this box and then Canva will create it for us. If you want to learn how to create amazing prompts to get the best images, you need to watch this tutorial that Ronnie created for us, which is amazing, I really recommend it. And then we can create our images. I'm gonna use a simple prompt this time. So let's type photorealistic image of a chihuahua running in a field full of flowers. I'm gonna go for the style photo and aspect ratio, I'm gonna leave it as a square. Create your image. This is a free feature, but we have a limitation of a hundred images per day. We have a really cute picture that I think I'm gonna use in this presentation. So if you want to use any of these photos, you just need to click on the image and Canva will add it to your design. I just need to drag the photo inside the frame and that will be it. I'm gonna flip this photo horizontally. Now for the last slide, I'm gonna use the Canva library. So let's go to elements. I'm inside the video, so I'm going back to select photos. See all. And now I'm going to search for Chihuahua. And now I just need to find a cute or funny Chihuahua. 
Once again, in the Canva library, we will also find free images and some that are available for Canva Pro users. The free images won't have any label and the Pro will have this little crown that says Pro. I think this little dog is going to make Ronnie laugh, so I'm gonna stay with this option right here. We have our presentation ready and the last step if you want to have animations on your presentation is to go to the toolbar on top and select animate. From here you can add animations to your pages or your slides so you can go over all of these options to preview the different animations available in Canva. I think I really like the party option. This is a combination of animations. If you don't want combinations, you can go down, see all the basic animations. You have an exaggerate category and also a photo movement. So let me see what do we have in here. Scrapbook is also really good. Block and stamp. I'm gonna go for the party option and then I'm gonna select apply to all pages so I have this party animation on all my presentations. So apply to all pages and we are ready to go. If you want to present this deck directly from Canva you can click on present on top of the screen from here, you can either go directly to present full screen. You can have two different windows, so you can see a presenter view and a presentation view. You can present and record or you can autoplay. I'm going to go for the first option and then present. I would like to know what do you guys think about the magic design feature and the other AI features that I showed you today. Do you like them or you don't like them? Let me know in the comments. Chihuahuas, the ultimate companion for your lifestyle. And here is why. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, click here. Easy to transport and take on trips. Yeah, it's small, that's for sure. Uh, low maintenance. They are small and don't require much space. That's true. <laughs> but I also might step on it. Yeah. Chihuahuas are known for their loyalty and devotion to their owners. Okay, affectionate and loyal. Chihuahuas are playful and energetic, which makes them perfect for families with active lifestyle. And what do you think about the cute video? It's we can, we cute. can, it's cute. We can buy sunglasses to our future Chihuahua. <laughs> okay, but can we buy the same glasses? Me? <laughs> we could. Okay, um, long lifespan. Oh no, <laughs> they have an average lifespan of twelve to twenty years. That's good. <laughs> and thank you for considering adding a Chihuahua to your family. Look at this little like is about to bite <laughs> to you. To our family, I forgot looks, to double check. This it. dog like, looks like he like it's about to bite me. He looks like our future Chihuahua. <laughs> That's it. So what do you think? Are you convinced? Uh, I like your presentation, uh, but I think this Chihuahua wants to bite me. No, he's smiling. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, maybe, but... Uh, You'll consider it. I'll consider it. Maybe Woo! you send me this deck. I, I believe the presentation was a success. I think it was a success, yes. yeah. On a technical point of view, apart from the topic of the presentation, I think you succeeded in convincing me yeah. of uh, Canva's magic presentation. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to get the best results using the feature text to image, you need to watch this guide where Ronnie explains everything on how to create the best prompts. Also, if you want to try the pro features in Canva, we have a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro. I'm gonna leave the link in here so you can use it if you want. I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.